Welcome to the new London apartment. Today, we're setting up a home office. Let's get into it. And we've got our microwave coffee, of course. Mm. Oh yeah, unreal. Okay, so let's get straight to it. There's been a few big, big updates. The first one being, we have a brand new apartment. We're based here in Battersea, London. Beautiful area, if you haven't checked it out. But today, we've got a desk to set up. And I don't know if you remember, but in New York, we had a sponsored desk from the guys over at Vernal. So shout out Vernal for making this happen again. But we've actually got a different color. We've got a different size. I don't know what's gonna be in the box, but we're gonna find out. And hopefully it fits perfectly right here. So we're gonna set that up today. If you're a software developer and you like home office setups, maybe this is the channel for you. I never do home office setups, so anyway. Why don't we get started? That's the desk frame, and then this looks like the, all right, let's just jump into it. Oh, but first, I need to show you around the apartment. So. First of all, we've got a beautiful living room, ready to go. Hermes little pad. We uh, got our first TV in a year. We haven't had a TV in a long time. Uh, we've got a nice, beautiful chair and some art from Camden. Guinness, of course. All right, that's the living room. We finally got a nice open kitchen, not like New York where the building standards are negative 100 aura, but otherwise, storage, bathroom, bedroom and then some nice light look at this we've actually got some natural light for once and you know what's really cool we can actually hear what's going on outside not bad and so you might have seen me sitting here a couple of times before maybe a couple of thumbnails but today instead of working here we're actually going to be able to work over there so let's get this thing set up i hope you guys are excited Maybe one day I'll also show you around the building as well because it's got some super sick amenities like the pool, the gym, everything. So anyway, let's jump in. What am I using? Should we use this? Should we start with this? All right, what have we got? So, oh, okay. We've got white accents for the legs. Now, if you know Vernal, I've gone through quite a few standing desks in my life. Okay, maybe three or two, maybe actually four. This is the most sturdy one I've ever used. You can actually stand on it. So I wonder if we can put this thing together without instructions. It's not that hard. It really isn't. Like you literally, see, look at this. You click these things. So that's the, that's the foot. That's another foot. Oh, we do have to screw it in though. That's the only problem. Oh. Oh, why oh, is this so hard? This, this box is crazy. The butter knife, man, <laughs> sucks. As you'll see, we have a white frame and a white desk this time. Well, not white, but it's like a light walnut or something. So it's gonna be nice with this apartment. Keep it nice and light. The last one was very dark, but it was, it was like also big as well. Really nice for the New York kind of accent tones. Thank you very much for choosing Vernal. Shout out Vernal, legends in the game. Now, unfortunately, Vernal didn't have a chair for me this time because they lost it tragically all in a fire nearby. And it's not as good as Vernal. Vernal have some of the best chairs, not sponsored. We've got some, we've got some nuts and bolts. We've got our, uh, our little trigger pad. Nice, all right, cool. Oh, that's right, we actually have to set it up with this upside down first and then you can flip it over. No, I'm a Vernal expert now. So we need to screw in some of those and uh, leave a little gap. Yes. Oh, okay. Mister, mister, why don't you do any helping? Nothing. So I believe we just screw it into the blue sort of area. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Perfect. All right, let's do it on the other one. All right, so. Perfect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. Through these holes, you tighten up the screws. Oh, yeah. So, tighten these bad boys up. Sweating after putting those screws in, it's a bit, you know, a bit of a change going from writing the most verbose typescript to you know putting together heavy machinery so 
A bit of all fairness, the vernal setup is super easy. We have, actually haven't even used instructions this time, we're that good. Thank you. Right. It actually, it actually is crazy how easy it is to set this up. I feel like it's easier than last time. But like, I feel like this time, for some reason, it was way more straightforward. Oh, the chair, yeah. No, it's looking good. What do you think, Cam? That's like almost it. And now it's just putting that on. All right, they also sent us one of these little cable management tray with the Vernal brand on it. So, yeah, we'll see if we can set that up too. Oh yeah, it looks like you are meant to bend it. Man, this feels so wrong. Well, that is the front of the bed, so the will be there, which means that this needs to be. You mean it'd be like that, right? Something like that. Right, yeah, true. Hey, is that actually? Oh, we have brackets that we should be using. Lol. We're about to screw this in, just directly. <laughs> Hammy, you just want to be star of the show, don't you? Oh, yeah. I remember those from last time. And it hooks in. Alright, we just got word that our dev, our new engineer coming on board, just took off from the airport. So he's on his way. Woo! Let's go! Looks good. All right, you ready? And then this one. Oh yeah, wow. Look at that. <whistles> These are the little finishing touches to make it look wait, wait, super wait. good. Wait, one more thing. What is it? We forgot to screw in the um, control. Oh, the control, lol. Well, in the meantime, while well, you're getting that ready, these are the funnest part. Here we go. One. Look at that. Nice. One. Should have done this when the desk was upside down. Look at that. Such a tidy little console. But the main difference, other than the color and the size, look at that bad boy. Different wall plug. Always gotta get your cables looking real nice, you know? I think I remember how to do it. So we go up to, let's just say, we need a device. Also shout out Maddie for my new bag. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I upgraded. This is a Lululemon bag, but like, got my notebook, got my glasses, got my AirPods, get everything. But then, a dedicated laptop section. Let's give this a crack. That's actually not a bad height, not gonna lie. I think you can go the lock plus that. There we go. I think that's set. Yeah, something like that's quite nice. And then we'll save that on number two. Boom, look at that. This is beautiful. It's also a really nice size. So if you want to pick up this desk, there's going to be a link down in the description for this exact model. So you can pick it up for yourself, put it into your apartment. I love it. I'm very, very stoked. Now, let's go ahead and get rid of all this cardboard. We're getting rid of the stuff. Look at that. Ugh. Stay. Tough day on the job. Whoa, it reeks in here. Holy moly. It smells like a bin in here. Damn. We're good. It smells like fish sauce in here. Wait, 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 wait. I completely forgot the most important part of all of this. I brought this for this purpose. Oh, uh, yeah, baby. We're back in business. Uh, this is my OG keyboard. You can even see all the scuffs from bringing it overseas. Honestly, one of the best keyboards I've ever used. If you want this keyboard, I'll chuck it in the description below. What a setup. Except Maddie's probably gonna use this more than me because I love the WeWorks, so. We've also got these other ones that I forgot about. Look at all the dust. <sighs> I don't know, for all you OGs back in New Zealand when I used to code on this in the office, remember that? So we've got that one too, which is like a mini, what was this one called again? This was the K3 Keychron Pro. And then we've also got the, the Nufi. Nufi, is, this is pretty sick. Oh, this is the Air 60. I got that when I was in New York as well. Super sick. Now, of course, we've got the MX Master 3 
for Mac, great mouse, highly recommend. I actually haven't used the mouse in a long time. In fact, it's been so long that it's dead. These things don't die. But uh, yeah, otherwise, we've got, some, we've got some cool gear to use. Oh, there's one more. I'm meant to be doing a video with them soon, but I'll give you a little teaser. Insta360 sent me a camera. I think there's some pretty creative coding stuff that we could do with this, but also just general London life. So, <laughs> odds that I walk into the WeWork like this. <laughs> hey, can I get a flat white? What else have we got to show? Almost, this is like when you, when you go to show and tell when you're a little kid. Got this off uh, eBay when I was in, oh, this is turning into a tech review. Like what's in my bag? I got this off eBay when I was in New York. It takes like literally 12 seconds to boot up. It takes so long, but this is an old school Samsung Digimax 301. We've got a whopping 3.2 megapixels. That's actually a sick photo, not gonna lie. So uh, yeah, shout out to Samsung Digimax for sponsoring this video um, in stores today. This is all, but all the gear that I use all the time. In fact, I don't use any of these all the time because I actually just went back from having like 10 screens and lots of keyboards to just coding on my laptop. A lot of you always wonder, why do I not have a desk set up anymore? And it's because I just build everything on my laptop. And if you're wondering, there's always two things they're wondering. What is my VS Code theme? Which is Night Owl, by the way. Number two, I'm using a MacBook Pro with the M2 chip. It's all you need, super fast. I run like three concurrent dev servers at once. I'm doing iOS builds on the weekend for fun. Yeah, it's a great laptop. So I'm just gonna have to link everything down below. This is gonna be an absolute shopping spree for everyone. So yeah, wow.